Dude, we're back with these entitled people. God, I hate them. If you hate them too, smash that like button. <laughs> they say the customer is always right. Ugh, here we go. Tell me a story of a customer you've encountered that proves this motto is wrong. I used to work in a tea room type cafe. Oh, that's cute, I love tea. Uh, a customer sent a scone back to the kitchen claiming there was too much cream on the scone. The jam and cream were served separate. He had put it on himself. So he effed up, put too much cream on it, and then was just like, there's too much cream on this. You gotta take it back and give me a fresh one. It's like, buddy, you d literally did it yourself. Like, just scoop it off. That's his own fault. That's actually unbelievable. I would just feel embarrassed being like, hey, this scone, too much cream on it. Take it back. Yeah, I know I did it myself. I don't like how I did it. Take back. And one time a customer got so angry they stormed off because they wanted a hot iced coffee. That's an oxymoron. Hot iced? So uh, you want melted ice cubes or what? And my coworker tried to clarify what the fuck they meant. Like, is that an iced coffee heated up? Do you want us to microwave cold brew? Hot coffee with ice? Still confused. I'm confused. Hot iced coffee. Literally, what do they mean? Cause if you microwave an iced coffee, it's no longer iced coffee. It's just watery coffee. You know, sometimes I wonder what people are thinking. You know, sometimes I wonder, I really do. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to the Peachiest channel on the internet. It's me, your favorite host, Peach, with my Peach here. Today, we are looking at some entitled customers that went too far. Have you guys ever worked in the customer service industry? Let me know in the comments below. If so, what was your job? And while you're down there reading the comments, why don't you smash that like button? Obviously, subscribe to Peach, be a Peach. Now, let's get on with this video. While working at a gas station, an older dude asked for a refund on gas he just pumped because he changed his mind. Okay, buddy, a little late there. You want me to vacuum out the gas? I had to explain that since the gas was now in his car, there was nothing I could do. He got upset and demanded I take the gas back, then stormed off. Exactly. Like, the gas is literally in there. What are you gonna, what, literally, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, one sec, let me just take a straw and suck it all out. Like, no, that's not how it works. And how do you change your mind? Like, oh, all of a sudden, I don't want my car to be able to go? He was like, oh shoot, I forgot I had dinner with my mother-in-law tonight. I don't need this gas because I want my car to break down so I don't have to go. I was a restaurant manager and a guy came in and said he deserved a free pie because he had bought a pie from another restaurant not mine, not even same chain, and it had a piece of plastic in it. I said, what? And he gave me a list of the only flavors that he would accept. Dude, that's like trying to return something from Walmart at Costco. It just doesn't work that way, I'm sorry. It's like, so the restaurant down the street, uh, they gave me a pie, but it had plastic in it, so now you guys have to give me a free pie. It's okay, buddy, why don't you go back to the place that had plastic in it and talk to them? I literally have no clue. Unless he was trying to get sympathy from them and be like, I almost ate plastic and I almost died from this pie. I haven't had a good slice in years. Please, sir, can you provide me with one? But that's probably not how it went down. I owned a restaurant in Sydney and one Sunday, a well-dressed family group came in. Two adults and five kids. Whoa, five kids. They already got a lot on their plate age four to 10. After they finished, the father said they would not pay on religious grounds, and it was up to me. What? And it was up to me whether police would be called on him in front of his kids. Wait, he said he can't pay because of his religion or was the restaurant on religious grounds? Like, was it near a church or a blessed area? I literally don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid or I think he was just like, no, it's part of my religion, I can't pay. That is a meal for seven that they didn't want to pay for. That's just, again, it's just embarrassing and it's setting a bad example for these poor kids. And yeah, like you're in a tough situation. It's like, do we call in the police and then the kids are like scarred from the police for life or what? Yikes, 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 yikes. I work at a restaurant and one of our servers complimented a woman on her purse hanging over her chair. The woman responded, oh honey, you'll never be able to afford this. Oh my gosh, wow. And then that's when the server goes, jokes for you, I own this restaurant. 
But wow, what the, why can't the woman just be like, oh my god, thank you so much, I really appreciate it, not, it's Chanel. Do you even know what that store is? Probably not. You probably get your purse from Walmart. Yeah, you'll never be able to even enter a Chanel store, let alone buy a purse from there. <laughs> now give me my steak and lobster. The crap that the servers are put through, I feel so bad. That's why you guys gotta tip well. You better tip well. We to the very busy Starbucks where a lady came in each day for a green tea and always moaned about having to wait in line for an uncomplicated drink. One day she got fed up with us telling her she had to wait in line like everyone else, so she came behind the counter and started making her own drink. Why don't you just get a green tea at home then? Like, what's so special about Starbucks green tea? You can literally make it at home and save your six dollars. Seriously. Ugh, like it's not even that complicated. I'll do it myself. And then goes back there. What the hell? Also, the employees just let her go back there? I would have poured scorching hot water on her. I mean, what? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Set boundaries. If people can't respect those boundaries, then peace. Okay, let's see what this person says. I paid you 5,200. I expect you to answer me ASAP. Hello, you paid me to execute and complete a project for you, not to be available to you 24-7. I've kept in constant communication with you throughout, wouldn't you agree? Yes, but for the amount of money I paid you, you owe me your full attention? Okay, uh, what's going on? Why did I get a refund? I'm sorry, but I think you should find another team that will match the type of availability you're expecting. I won't be able to make those type of concessions, best of luck. What was the service that they were providing? Seriously? Really, they expect like amount of money equals like the person is now your servant and has to bow down to you and be available 24 seven. That's not how it works. I just want to know what the project is. That is absolutely insane. Like does school not teach manners or common sense at all? This is just rude. How you gotta be so rude. Fun fact, the guy that sings that song, Magic, uh, I met him at Costco. Uh, I did a couple years ago, he was Christmas shopping at Costco and I was making a joke and I'm like, that looks like magic. And I was totally joking. And next thing you know, I hear someone being like, oh my God, magic. And I was like, oh, well it is actually him. Yeah, yeah, nuggets, please come and collect. Yeah, but I told you that I am hey, cold. You are the delivery driver. Can you just come and collect the food? You are the delivery yeah, driver. Just come and get left your food. I'm not coming, I'm not coming there. I'm you are the delivery driver, are you stupid? Are you yeah, go on. You go on, I'm recording, go on, try eating my food. Yeah, go on. You're talking, you're talking. Go on, go on. Yeah, go on, go on, I'm recording, go on, try eating my food, go on, go on. <gasps> Do it. From delivery. Yeah, Eat go those on. nuggets. Eat food, then. Okay. Stupid man. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, eat that. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on your face. Yeah. <gasps> Good for him. I'm sorry. It looked like she was up on a balcony or something and she's like, I'm cold. Do you have to come here? I'm sorry? Like, what? You're cold so you're standing outside. It'll take you three seconds to go down and get your food. You're just lazy. That's what it is. You're not cold. You're just lazy. Also, I absolutely love how his jacket matched his little container. Like, that is so satisfying. I absolutely love that. That's weird. It's not even weird, it's just rude. Like, no, you gotta come up here and you actually have to feed it to me. You're the delivery person. That's part of your job. You have to take the nuggets and dip it in the ketchup for me and then put it in my mouth for me. In fact, you have to move my jaw to help me chew. It's part of your job. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. We've waited like 25 minutes for this food. What do you want me to do? I don't know, you're like... Like, work fast. Some yeah. free juice or something. Yeah, like give us some it. free food or something. To the manager. I, I'm new employee. No, but like, no, no, but we expect something free. Here, the food please. for free or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, give no. us some free food. <laughs> you must think it's a joke. You want this food for free? What do you think this is? Charity. <laughs> Take your food, please. I don't have time. I don't have time. Are you okay? Is he all right? Who's he talking okay? to? Are you like, you record it. Yeah. You want me to be giving you free food? Yeah. Uh, what do you think this well, is? Well, it's been like half an hour. <laughs> I love this guy. He's such a character. 
And I love how the people in the car are recording like, oh, we got him, okay? He's being unacceptable. No, it's embarrassing. You're being unacceptable. Been like half an hour. Actually, you said it's been like 20 minutes. I think you guys are just hungry. They're probably hangry and impatient. And the only reason why McDonald's has you pull off is if you have a big order that they don't have ready for you. So first of all, you're gonna get your food fresh. Second, you guys had a big order. So what do you expect them? Like seriously. And they don't get paid enough to deal with your crap. I'm sorry, they don't. Some free juice or something. Yeah, like give us some free food or something. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? I would like that. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one of these people you thought was the most entitled. Honestly, let me know. Let's have a little conversation. With that being said, if you want to see part two, let me know in the comments below. And obviously, smash that like button and subscribe to Peach. Be a Peach. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, aka Peach. Stick around for some bloopers, and I'll see you when I see you. Stay peachy. Almost forgot my introduction, you little peaches. <laughs> Have you guys ever worked in the customer service industry? Now, let's get on with this I forgot what number I'm at. Oh, it's a video. Threw me for a loop. Was not expecting this. It's unacceptable. I'm just kidding. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, aka Peach, and I'll see, oh, sorry.